We're answering your biggest health questions today. Now, should I see a doctor or will it go away on its own? And we have dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra joining us again because right now we're going to be talking about skin rashes. We've all faced them at one point or another in our lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What in the world is a rash? So a rash is just a general term, actually. It can, uh, it can refer to a change in color, texture, or appearance of the skin. It can be itchy or asymptomatic without any symptoms whatsoever. And it can mean so many Absolutely. different things, so and that's why patients are always confused. And Andre C. actually posted on our Facebook a question asking, I've had a rash for three days. Will it go away on its own, or should I see a doctor? Well, I want everyone to grab their Paget gadgets out. And I have to say, even as a doctor, sometimes you look at a rash, like, well, yeah. is that, well, is that yeah. benign? Is it more dangerous? So everyone, look at these images. I want you to predict which rash will go away on its own and which one will need treatment. So let's see the first slide. Rash one or two, which one will go away on its own? Make your selection. Let's see how the audience voted. All right, 58% said rash one would go away on its own. So image one is actually heat rash. Image number two is shingles, meaning number one, heat rash is the correct answer. That will go away on its own. We got some, but, we got some dermatologists out there. Exactly. But you all would agree, it's, it's not always yeah, that clear rash cut number obvious. one was kind of bad. Absolutely. That's a heat rash that comes from the sweat glands getting clogged. So mm. that will usually go away on its own, and it's from overheating. So really common in little babies who are overswaddled, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And really, the treatment is just to cool the person or the baby down and take them out of the swaddle and cool their skin. And those sweat glands no longer get blocked, so those little bumps go away. Yeah, a lot but of parents will put cream on there, and that's exactly. the wrong thing to do. Exactly. But, a, but a little cold compress on a shingle. No, rash. Uh, so, rash so, but actually do, right? that was sort of a loaded question because shingles does go away That's eventually right. on its own, yeah. but it's a viral infection. It's actually but it can come back, and it can. It's it's actually a reactivation of chickenpox virus, mm -hmm. and it happens when people's immunity is sort of run down. Much more common in older people, but even young people, if their immune system is relatively speaking not up to par. They've been sleep deprived. They're sick from something else. And it's just a reactivation of the chickenpox virus across a nerve root. So it's usually doesn't cross the midline, and it's usually on the trunk in kind of a linear distribution. Yeah, a real good clue to shingles is it may come right to the center line and then stop. Because kind of, it follows, yeah, that yeah, follows the nerve, right? Exactly. Kind of, kind of yeah. Let's yeah. have Dr. Boster, yeah. audience, yeah. we're not done yet. So let's get ready for round two. Which rash will most likely go away on its own? Number one or number two? All right, let's see how the audience voted. Okay here, pretty wow, close, 50, 51, 50, huh? 49%. But the correct answer is number two. Number one is in Batigo, and number two is hives. And so, so this was close, but actually hives do go away on their own, and they're very itchy red bumps that come up from the release of histamine in the skin. They often can be a result of allergy or they can be a result of a physical reaction to something on the skin. And usually most hives will go away within 24 hours or the same individual one will go away. Mm -hmm. But if you continue to get hives over and over for six weeks, then that is the kind of mm -hmm. thing you would want to see a doctor for evaluation. Yeah. Now the other image was impetigo and that's actually a pretty serious skin infection. And it may start as a blister. Uh, kids get them often around the mouth, around the nose. Uh, but then after that blister kind of opens up, you'll get a little plaque about the size of a dime or so. And it's, it looks like crusted over honey. And that usually needs some antibiotic ointment and keeping the area clean. Correct. And it usually comes in through little cuts or nicks mm -hmm. in the skin. Scrapes. And it's very contagious. Yes. So that should be evaluated by a doctor and mm -hmm. treated by, with either a topical or, in some cases, even an oral antibiotic. Right. Because that's not going to go away on its yeah. own. And since I am the emergency medicine doctor, although you don't need to go be seen for hives, if you develop hives acutely mm -hmm. and you develop a swollen tongue and you can feel your airway closing in, mm -hmm. I'm not worried about your hives, I'm worried about your airway. So mm -hmm. still go get seen. <laughs> it's just you're going to exactly. get seen for all the other allergic yeah. symptomatology that you have. 